The story is about a four-year-old girl in Dorchester who disappears one night. She becomes a big media story because she's this attractive little girl. Uh, the police can't figure out what's happened to her. The mother, the aunt of the little girl, in, in kind of frustration, goes out and hires these two sort of low-rent, relatively inexperienced um, missing persons detectives to find her. The way I imagined it was kind of different than a traditional movie. I wanted to incorporate more some sort of documentary, non-fiction elements in a weird way. We did a lot of t photographing of the neighborhood and people here, and a lot of casting of, of non-professional actors, and using a lot of like very specific real locations um, to try to uh, interweave tr actual true elements of the fictional story. And the hope being that that kind of larger tapestry, because it's infused with these elements that are unimpeachably authentic, that it kind of bleeds together and adds to the authenticity of an overall fictional story. So I had that idea, and I wanted to do that so that I could, you know, and I, I wondered, like, will someone else understand that? And, you know, naturally, any director wants to and needs to and should have a sense of authorship over their project, because that's ultimately who's going to do it. So it occurred to me that probably if I wanted to do that, that I should direct it. Before I had a child, I think I, I would have took this story and its contents more lightly. Not in a glib or flip way, but just in a kind of fantasy way. Because before I had a child, I didn't understand what it really felt like to have a person out there in the world that you would really die for, that you cared about more than anything else, that you just I didn't have that sense of what it means to be a parent. I do now. And it meant that I looked at the story really differently.